All right, guys. We're tired as shit, and it's really cold. Oh, it's really cold. Really cold. It's horrible. And I'm gonna go get this one class done, and that's all I have today. And and then we're gonna go do something else, and maybe go back to bed, and and sit in the oven. Look at the difference between the X1 and the X5. Holy crap. Class is over, it's 10, just after 10. Yeah, big difference there between the E70 and the F, whatever the X1 is, I don't know. There's some other tool that I had to leave at home that I really needed, but I don't know. Welcome to Lowe's. Uh, we're <laughs> we're beefing this up. Yeah, whenever guys walk, we're not even here for tools. So <laughs> no, we, we're not. We walked we're over. here for stuff to hold tools, and we're right. buying more and tools. We're, we're buying tools. Check <laughs> this out. $6.71 for a Cobalt 13-piece metric set. 5.55, 4.54, 2.52, 1.5, 6.789, and 10 millimeter um, Allen keys with a thing so you can actually get torque on them. Very cool. Uh, this will come this in use for the really car, need. for sure. Too bad it's $27, but is we that need... Deepwell? We, no, we need a non-Deepwell set of these, because I have Deepwell, all of these. I, I have I have all of that. You do? Yeah, I have It's just not in a nice little set. No, it's not like that, but I have a 10 through... Uh, I have 4 through 21 millimeters, with we're the good, exception go, then. of a... I don't think I have a 20, because that doesn't exist. So carry so, that. So yeah, we, we should have all the sockets and stuff we need to do brakes and everything we need to do. Some of those extensions look good to me down there, but we don't need that. Torque wrenches are over here. You guys got to see these too. They are beautiful. Um, they're on here somewhere. I've looked at them before. All right, we'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so we're out of Lowe's. Um, they didn't have the rubber mat that we want to put down. We'll show you when we get back. So we're over here now. We're going to go in and see if we can find a piece of rubber. We did the damn thing! Flashback? A little bit. Back to the good old days of W2K. We were both PC nerds before we were Mac nerds, right? And car nerds. I can't believe this game can run this. This is about all this computer is good for. 366 megahertz, that's slower than your iPod Nano. And it's running an entire desktop operating system of 14 years ago. Dude, ever heard of Tilt? <laughs> oh, good days, good times, good times. Brian, yo! Yeah. <laughs> hey, beat my high score, and I'll give you a dollar. Got you a dollar. Oh, you gotta work harder than that. You gotta be faster than that, right? Right, so today uh, we got class done. We, I don't know, we organized tools. We went over to Lowe's. I don't think I filmed this whole thing. So we reorganized all of these shelves out here last night. I know I showed you that much. And um, we wanted to do an even better job with it. He had all of these wrenches here in a big craftsman bag. Um, and they're really hard to find. If you're looking for like a 15 millimeter open-ended wrench, what spanner and thing on the end. You could never find it, right? You pull out the 17, you pull out the 13, then you start pulling out the Imperial spec stuff and you never find it. So he wanted to lay all this out. Well, if you look at what this thing's made out of, it's just metal rungs, it would fall through. So we wanted to go and buy a plastic or a rubber mat, like the kind that you would lay, you know, those, those big craftsman toolboxes with ball bearings and they're beautiful. Well, we can't afford that and there's no way to move it out of here in a couple of years, months, whatever. So uh, we figured we'd buy a piece of rubber. So we went to Lowe's, spent like an hour in there walking all over the place. Finally asked somebody, two guys, they didn't know what we what kind of thing we wanted, didn't think they had anything. We looked in shelves, we looked in tool world, nothing. So we went to Joanne Fabrics looking for rubber. They didn't have rubber either. So we bought poster board down here poster board and then we bought this rugged rubberized friction material we trimmed the poster board to the correct size we did 45 degree angles on each side to avoid these posts all the way around we wrapped it it's perfect it's exactly what we want it's got a little bit of give to it it would be easy to clean only thing is it sits up a little bit in the middle well we thought about this before we wrapped it we poked some holes in it, put some uh, some washers in there so that the string won't rip, and then tied the string around the bottom. 
Talk about engineering, it's beautiful. We did a bang up job and for $6, we got all of those at Lowe's. I feel like I showed you that already. $6, that's awesome. That's really cool. So we got all of that set up. Nice tool area there, all ready to work on the car. Those aftermarket performance parts showed up today. So um, I don't think I already have it kind of put away in the basement until we install them when it's actually warm and I need to order a couple of bushings before I'm gonna put that in. So we'll show you that later. We'll talk later, don't worry about that. But um, it's 1.15, so we're gonna wrap things up soon, edit this up, throw it online, and then uh, get classes done tomorrow, and then I'm done with classes till Monday. And you got a job starting Monday, and you're looking at a place to stay Friday, right? Yeah. Going Friday. We got the smart car key here, which is made by Vallejo, same company that made the uh, the stock blower uh, motor Welcome fan in. resistor in the 39. You got a million? Mm -hmm. Is that more than my score? I think yours is 900,000. So what do I owe you now? What did a I dollar. say? Dollar. Damn it, I don't have a dollar. <laughs> Shh, crap. All right, I'm going to bed and I need a dollar, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.